The Soviet Zubra-class LCAC, or Air Cushioned Landing Craft, is the world's largest hovercraft ever produced. Displacing over 555 tons and measuring more than 57 meters, the Zubr, or Promornik, is the ultimate amphibious vehicle used for disembarking and embarking troops, supplies, and vehicles. Thanks to its squared shape and unique pontoon structure, the Zubr can carry 500 heavily armed Russian marines, 10 armored vehicles, or three battle tanks to swiftly deliver them to the battlefield. Developed in the 1980s by the Soviet Navy, the amphibious vehicle has been constantly modified to keep it updated with modern technologies. Today, less than a dozen such vessels have been produced, but the Russian Navy has ambitious plans to develop more and deploy them all the way to the Pacific and Eastern Europe. Soviet Amphibious Vehicles as part of the Lend-Lease program signed by President Franklin Roosevelt on March 11, 1941, Ford and several other companies manufactured amphibious vehicles for the Soviet Union's fight against Germany. Ford even granted a license to manufacture amphibious vehicles such as the GPA Jeep, which would be crucial for future Soviet prototypes. When World War II ended, the USSR greatly expanded its domains over Europe and the Pacific under the iron grip of Joseph Stalin. And as hostilities toward the West increased, the Soviet armed forces began to consolidate their naval power and influence over China, Korea, and Vietnam. As part of this expansion, Soviet engineers began developing prototypes of amphibious vehicles that could be used against an upcoming conflict with the United States or some of its allies. The first of these vehicles was the GAZ-46, heavily inspired by Ford's GPA, and Warsaw Pact countries were employed to cross and conduct reconnaissance missions on rivers and lakes across Eastern Europe. The GAZ-46 was followed by the MAV, or Small Floating Vehicle. Although it could carry five men and some cargo, the Soviets wanted a bigger vehicle that could sustain a heavier load. Using the allied DUKW as an inspiration, the USSR then introduced the BAV and the ZIZ-485. This big floating vehicle could carry up to 2.5 tons of cargo, or 30 armed men ready for combat. The use of these varying amphibious vehicles led to the introduction of the PTS in 1965, a medium-sized amphibious transport that could carry twice the cargo of previous models. Additionally, the Soviet PTS could be operated in areas contaminated by chemical weapons or radiation. This vehicle and its capabilities would become the foundation of Project 1232.2, or the Pomornik-class amphibious landing craft, the world's largest transport of its type. Soviet Project 1232.2 The development of Project 1232.2 can be traced back to the mid-1970s, after the wars in Korea and Vietnam. The objective of this Soviet program was to develop an air-cushioned landing craft, a modern variation of an amphibious landing boat. Also known today as LCAC, the Soviet program took almost a decade of research before it came to life in the 1980s. The project was inspired by the versatility of the PTS amphibious vehicle and the AS-class assault hovercraft introduced by the Soviet Navy in 1965. By 1986, the first of these one-of-a-kind hovercraft had finally entered service in the Soviet Navy, and it was classified as the Zuber or Bison-class LCAC. The new vehicle was produced by the Almaz Shipbuilding Company in what is known today as St. Petersburg. The Zuber class LCAC was built for a series of specific purposes. It was meant to carry out rapid beach landings of troops, supplies, and vehicles on hostile enemy territory. Also, thanks to its colossal size and armament, the ship was to support the assaulting troops with direct fire from its own weapons. The Zuber hovercraft can weigh up to 555 tons if fully loaded, and has a length of 57 meters, a beam of 25.6 meters, and a draft of 1.6 meters. Its sturdy and seaworthy design with its square-shaped pontoon structure also provides the maximum amount of space for cargo storage. This cargo area has 400 square meters to carry either 500 fully armed Russian Marines, 
10 armored fighting vehicles, like the BMP-2 or BTR-70, with about 100 soldiers, or three main battle tanks, like the T-80. Meanwhile, the pontoon superstructure is divided by two bulkheads and three distinct sections to facilitate cargo accommodation. What's more, the middle area was specifically designed to store the vehicles, as the compartment is fitted with taxi tracks and unloading ramps. The outer sections comprise the main and auxiliary power plants, the crew quarters, the garrison areas, and NBC protection systems for nuclear or chemical scenarios. In addition, the crew and troop sections feature heating and air conditioning systems, vibration isolation structures, and thermal and sound insulation coatings, making it the ultimate landing craft for use under different weather conditions. Powerful Capabilities The Zuber hovercraft has airtight sealing in the compartments that can keep the crew and troops safe if threatened by weapons of mass destruction. This protection is also enhanced by providing each man with a gas mask and protective suit. The forward section of the Zuber has a raised bow and a lowering ramp for disembarking and embarking troops, vehicles, and supplies, with the hull designed to diminish the effect of naval mines, as it sits above an inflatable cushion bed that effectively protects the vehicle when it goes ashore. When the troops and supplies are going to be disembarked, the cushion is deflated to bring the bow ramp to ground level. The Zuber can land on shores that feature up to 5 degree gradients or vertical walls that are up to 1.6 meters tall. Additionally, the Zuber can operate over ice, land, and swamplands, as the hull is made of corrosion-resistant aluminum and magnesium alloy. Also, three large propulsion fans are located aft and form the backbone of the Zuber's propulsion system. Each one houses air propellers that provide the vessel with a top speed of up to 60 knots. Five Kuznetsov NK-12MB gasoline-fueled turboprop engines are used to power up all the Zuber's systems. Two are used to generate lift, and three to propel the landing craft. With an approximate range of 300 miles and a fuel capacity of 56 tons, the Zuber has enough range and power to disembark and embark troops, cargo, and vehicles for quick amphibious operations. The Zuber is also equipped with two navigation radars, a magnetic compass, a radio direction finder, a satellite receiver, and other systems essentials for optional maritime operations to complement its amphibious nature. When it comes to armament and defensive systems, the ship is armed with a search radar, four IGLA 1M air defense missile systems, and two rocket launchers. Finally, the boat is also equipped with an AO-18 six-barreled automatic gun that can also be used to attack ground and air targets. Today. As far back as its introduction with the Soviet Navy in 1986, the Zuber class LCAC has undergone several modifications to keep it up to date with current technologies. Today, only a handful of Zuber vessels are in service. Two Zuber class vessels serve with the Russian Navy, two with Ukraine, and four with the Greek Navy, while China plans to incorporate four of these landing crafts into its Navy, but they have not been delivered. The Russian vessels are named Mordovia and Evgeny Korchisov, while the ones in the Hellenic Navy are called Kefalonia, Ithaki, Kerkira, and Zakynthos. In June of 2017, Russia announced it was going to restart the production of the Zuber class LCAC, but none have been produced as of 2022. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. And let us know in the comments below what you think of the world's largest air-cushioned landing craft ever produced. Stay tuned.